untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at an Asper colored Cursus control deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring the various Curses from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. And the standout card in our deck is definitely Curse of Surveillance. This is also the only reason we're playing blue in the deck for a 5 mana enchantment aura curse that enchants our opponent as it enters the battlefield. And at the beginning of their upkeep, we get to draw cards equal to the number of Curses attached to our opponent. So with just a Curse of Surveillance out, we get to draw an extra card each turn, but if we get multiple Curses out, the Curse of Surveillance will get out of hand very quickly, let alone if we get multiple copies of Curse of Surveillance, which will also stack nicely. And then with this extra card advantage, we can keep the board clear since we've got all these sorcery speed sweepers. We're a tap out control deck, so we've got tons of removal. And then we can eventually close out the game with the 4 4 tokens from Amiria's Call, or we can learn for a mascot exhibition out of our sideboard. So those are the two main win conditions. So first off, let's take a look at the author curses in our deck. We've got Curse of Leeches at 3 mana in black, which is also a daybound and nightbound card. So it will enter the battlefield according to whether it's day or night, and if it's not already day or night, it will introduce the day and night cycle. And then on the daybound side, it's a curse enchanting our opponent. And then at the beginning of their upkeep, they lose one life and we gain one life. And then if it ever switches to nighttime, it transforms into Leeching Lurker, a 4-4 lifelinker, so that can also be an extra win condition, but it also means that the opponent can potentially let it transform to nighttime and then use one of their creature removal spells to remove the Leeching Lurker, so it can also be a downside once it flips to nighttime. And then we also have the full playset of Curse of Silence. This one the opponent won't be able to remove as easily as it doesn't transform into a creature, just a one mana enchantment or a curse. As it enters the battlefield, we choose a card name and spells with the chosen name will cost two generic mana more to cast for our opponent. And whenever they cast a spell with the chosen name, we're allowed to sacrifice the Curse of Silence. And if we do, we draw a card. Although for the most part, we're happy to keep Curse of Silence in play to draw us additional cards with our Curse of Surveillance. And to help us find Curse of Surveillance more consistently, we're also playing with the full playset of Moon Blast Cleric, a 3-2 that when it enters a battlefield lets us search our library for an enchantment card, reveal it and put it on top of our deck. So the next turn we can hopefully cast our Curse of Surveillance and start drawing extra cards. And then the rest of our deck is filled with removal with that one mana portable hole which can exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value 2 or less until the hole leaves the battlefield. At 2 mana we've got a full place at a Vanishing Verse, exiling target to Monocolored Permanent. We've got Cram Session, gaining 4 life and letting us grab a lesson out of our 7 card sideboard in best of 1, including Environmental Sciences to find a basic land and gain 2 life, Reduce to Memory as a removal spell giving the opponent a 3-2 token in return, Teachings to draw more cards if we don't have a Curse of Surveillance going, We've got Introduction to Prophecy as well, and then our two copies of a Mascot Exhibition, and they confront the past mostly to remove opposing Planeswalkers, as we don't have any ourselves. Then at 3 mana, we've got our Cleric and Curse of Leeches. We've got Doomscar, which we can foretell and potentially cast for 3 mana later. And then Curse of Surveillance, two copies of Vanquish the Horde as an extra sweeper that costs one generic mana less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. And then the full playset of Emiria's Call, which we can play as a land or as a win condition. And then the rest of our mana base includes two basic planes, one basic island and one basic swamp that we also get to search up with our environmental sciences. And then a whole host of dual lands with all 12 pathways in our colors, as well as two copies of the new Shipwreck Marsh and two copies of Deserted Beach, as well as two copies of the Shine Shadow Snarl, which will come into play tapped most of the time, but we just need the extra mana fixing. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw. Don't have access to Curse of Surveillance right away, but our hand looks keepable. And then... Probably hang on to Emiria's Call since we can cram session to learn for environmental sciences to potentially get an extra land. Sir opponent's green white with a turn to carry it. It's. I could vanishing verse it. Not sure what to name with Curse of Silence yet. 
Yeah, I guess we'll just exile the carrier to, to slow the opponent down a little bit. Even though there is an argument for just holding the Vanishing Verse, letting them ramp out whatever it is. And then uh, maybe drawing into a sweeper to clean up the board. Alright, opponent's got nothing. In that case, do I play the Curse of Leeches? Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then next turn, I can cram session plus maybe Curse of Silence, and we'll have a better idea what to name with it. Opponent foretells a card, so they want my curse transforming into a creature, perhaps. That's fine. So we'll hit for four. I don't think this is a Doomscar, but what else could it be in green-white? Can't think of much. Now, Curse of Silence only affects the opponents, so it's not going to make our Doomscar more expensive for its worth. But I can also transform the Leeching Lurker back here by casting two spells, so I don't think we're worried about Doomscar too much. So let's just cram session. Still gets environmental sciences, I think, or I could go for a card draw spell. But I think I'm gonna do that with the next cram session instead. And then swamp seems fine. So curse transforms back, so we don't have to worry about removal. Borrow time can exile it, however. And now it's probably fine to cram session for card draw. Sadly, won't be able to go for teachings, so introduction to prophecy it is. And then another curse of leeches is okay, but not great. I think I would rather find curse of surveillance or the moonblast cleric to search it up. Frog Hemoth is gonna hit us. Still just dies to a Doomscar here. And then I can maybe name Frog Hemoth with the Curse of Silence. And next turn I can cast the Mirius Call if I want to. Right, and there's four Inklex instead. Also a good one. Portable hole not looking great. Think I'm okay with the double block. Alright, Hunter's Mark, a little bit unexpected. Another Curse of Silence, not what we need right now. Guess I'll name Vorinclex again, in case of a future one. Assuming we can answer the first copy. Alright, there we go. So now we'll get to draw three cards right away, keep a black and white in case we draw into another um, Vanishing Verse. Another Curse of Surveillance and then Vanquish the Horde will be great too. So we took quite a beating from Vorinclex, luckily we gained quite a bit of life as well. Ram session could also answer Vorinclex. Let's just vanquish the horde. Augur of Autumn. Also dodges portable hole. Second cram session to try and find removal for Augur. 
Although I think I just want to play my Curse of Surveillance instead, and then we'll get a Mascot Exhibition to give us a bit of board presence. Again, I'll get to draw three cards right away, so even if they have another Boro time, we'll pull pretty far ahead. Moonblast Cleric can get another Curse of Surveillance. There's a Frog Hemoth, costs two more. Don't think I'm sacking the Curse of Silence. Alright, so... Probably got a Exhibition. And then keep up mana for a potential Vanishing Verse top deck. Ah, another Doomscar instead. Still have 30 cards left, so not too afraid of decking. Protector Shield we can get rid of pretty easily. So Frog Hemoth will require a double block here to kill it. And our opponent had the Doom Scar after all. That's fine. Still drawing at least three cards per turn. Playing another Curse could be a little risky here. There's Vanishing Verse for Protector Shield. So... Yeah, if I play a Curse here, I'm drawing 8 cards per turn. That might be a bit much. So, let's go Cleric. And then maybe get a Curse of Leeches as an extra win condition that still draws me one extra card, which is still reasonable. Fortel. And keep a Vanishing Verse. And then it's just a matter of time until we find another Emiria's Call or Cram Session. There might be one left. So Augur will probably Vanishing Verse the first opportunity we get. Or I could just Vanishing Verse the Protector Shield and then use a Sweeper to kill the Augur. That's also reasonable. Another Moonblast Cleric. So it's currently daytime. We'll attack with Cleric. Bonus trading. And I guess I could get more Curse of Leeches. Playing another Cleric will essentially shuffle away the first Curse. So maybe I'll wait on that. And there's Cram Session for Mascot Exhibition. Do have to watch out for the stronghold, but can only be used at sorcery speed. So yeah, let's uh, attack. Crime session. Get another mask on exhibition. And I suppose we could play another curse. And discard some stuff to hand size. Alright, double Amiria's Call. There's even a neat combo here somewhere with Amiria's Call making our creatures indestructible to then cast Vanquish the Horde. Opponent had another Doomscar, that's fine. 
So yeah, now it's time to start killing the opponent, pretty much. Cannot play a second Emiria Skull, can I? Think I'm one mana short. So instead... I can... Play another Cleric. And pass, discarding, snarl, portable hole, curse of surveillance. Could also get a removal spell for my own curse of surveillance with another vanishing verse here. We can answer it. So we're not afraid of decking. Opponent going for strongholds. Sure, let's just do this instead. It feels like removing my own curse of surveillance is admitting defeat in some way. And this attack, plus another curse of leeches, should get the job done. I'm gonna draw quite a few cards, but the opponent's also gonna die. So, should be fine. And our opponent packs it in. Alright, so on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Cram session to pick up environmental sciences, and then we've got triple curse, plus a doom scar to clean things up. So our hand kind of has everything covered. I think I still wait on curse of silence, as I don't know for sure what to name. A red black. Let's wait an extra turn and just cram session here. Get environmental sciences. Which can get an island, maybe. Opponent foretells a card in black red. What could that be? Maybe a poison the cup. For now. Let's sciences for an island. And then maybe just play Tap Timerius Call, or I can pay 3 to Curse of Silence. Although next turn, I can go Cram Session, double Curse of Silence. And I'll get a little bit more information on what you put might be playing. First instinct right now is to name Goldspan Dragon with the first Curse of Silence. Always a safe bet against the red deck. Yeah, let's uh, Cram Session and then double Curse. And then I could also discard from my hand to draw cards, since I really want to hit land 5 for Curse of Surveillance next turn. Or I could just go for Teachings, which will draw me some cards too. And then name Goldspan Dragon. Opponent's also playing green. So I could go for Isika's Chariot or Renan 7. They're playing Snow Lands, so they could have Blood on the Snow. Kind of want to go for these more expensive spells. Let's go with the Seekers Chariot, which would be kind of scary on curve. Alright, so... Double Curse out. Did not draw land, but we can Teachings. Draw two. And play another Curse. And, uh, let's see, what's left to name Ren and Seven? Alright, we're just missing Alrun's Epiphany here to name all the best cards in Standard. Although, probably won't see Epiphany from the opponents. Alright, time to draw some cards. Could have also gone for Binding the Old Gods. Which is an answer to Curse of Surveillance, but with a second copy in hand. I'm not too worried. Can't really afford to play a second Curse of Surveillance, as that would make me draw 10 cards per turn. So I'm kind of happy that they are using their turn on a Binding. And then, yeah, we'll play another one. And 
draw four again. And eventually we can win the game with Graham Session for Mascon Exhibition. Three copies of Emeria Skull left. And Curse of Leeches can help too. Okay. So our opponent's not doing much. Can go Cleric for Curse of Leeches. Cram Session for Mascot Exhibition, or I can foretell a bunch of um, Doom Scars too here. So, Cram Session. And Cleric for Curse of Leeches, which we'll draw right away. Could also get a replacement Curse of Surveillance if we're worried about running out of cards. Which is also fair, just to have a backup in case of another binding. Discard to hand size, snarl, portable hole can go. Alright, so not worried about running out of card advantage here. Can always vanishing verse our own curse of surveillance if we're worried about decking. Ooh, waking the trolls. Was not expecting that one. So I could keep Portable Hole as an answer to a troll token. Question is, how much do we want to add more to the board here? Opponent gets back binding. Yeah, I can go for Emerius Call, which we can still cast. And the 4-4 four, four flyers can fly over any potential trolls that the opponent can play. And what to discard. Twenty-six cards left. Let's see if they bother destroying the Curse of Surveillance. It's a Blood on the Snow instead. Luckily our Cleric's still indestructible. I'm binding, destroying the Curse of Silence, the one naming Goldspan Dragon. Okay, so Vanishing Verse can be an instant speed answer for that one. Hit you for three. And is it time for... Mascot Exhibition, or do I wait to wipe the board to deal with the trolls first? Which seems reasonable. And then for now go Curse. Cleric. Keep up Vanishing Verse. And get... Maybe an extra Curse of Leeches. And discard a land, plus... Sure, a Curse of Surveillance can go now. Opponent gets three Troll Tokens. Do I want to remove these trolls one by one? I think I do, since we have a portable hole. Or I can just untap and then maybe uh, cast a Vanquish the Horde on the cheap. Sure, since I guess I would only be able to answer two trolls. Although I guess we lose our uh, Leeching Lurker curse as well. And that's okay, we'll just hit for four and gain four. Does make my Vanquish the Horde a bit more expensive if two creatures die. Probably still worth it. So let's Vanquish. All 
All right. So draw four, drain the opponents. And we're getting to the point where I could think about answering my own Curse of Surveillance to start deploying win conditions. Although Goldspan is also a good target. Alright, Deadly Dispute and Response. Unexpected windfall, making more treasures. And a shambling ghast. Another dispute. Okay, not sure what they're planning with all those treasures. Alright, play another gold span. Let's sweep that away. And the Mirios call, I guess. Or we could mask on exhibition first. To next turn make our tokens indestructible with a Mirios call. Another Vanishing Verse to maybe answer my own curse. Although Cram Session can also get a, an answer for it. Right, Crush the Weak was the Foretold card. And a Tybalt. Gonna finish off my token. Alright. Ten cards left. So what's my plan? can probably afford to draw four more cards, but then I probably need to Vanishing Verse to Curse. And this turn, maybe apply a bit more pressure with Emirio's Call. I can Moonblast Cleric, although, hmm, never mind. Since I'm gonna draw four, it's not like I can put a useless enchantment on top for Tybalt to reveal with a plus. So I think that puts me... To a point where maybe I do want to Vanishing Verse my Surveillance now. And then finish them off with my Curses. And then Cram Session can get an answer for Tybalt. I could confront the past. And this leaves me more time to leverage my Curse of Leeches to drain the opponent to death. And Portable Hole could still come in handy if my opponent makes some tokens. Check for traps, probably goes for Miria's Call. Alright, I mean, still 10 turns remaining, can also let the Curses transform, and that will uh, get the job done too, so just not going to play anything. And dodge a Sweeper for a turn, hopefully. Alright, sweep. Well, this turned into a pretty interesting game after all. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a pretty nice looking hand. Turn one, I could already play Curse if I have an idea what my opponent is playing. Naming Red of Shimmer Drift Veil. Vale. So a multicolor snow deck, including red. What do we make of this? Not sure. I think I'll hang on to Curse of Silence for now. can probably deploy its turn four. I do want to have it in play before I play Curse of Surveillance. Alright, just swamp into Kalein, so maybe not a snow deck after all. 
Now I know what to name with Curse of Silence. That's going to be Goldspan Dragon. And yeah, might as well play it now. No need to Vanishing Verse anything. So that's going to cost 7 mana now. Which is a more reasonable mana cost. Next turn, Moonblast Cleric gets Curse of Surveillance. And then I just need land 5 and we're good. Bard class? That was unexpected, okay. Well, I cannot Vanishing Verse Bard class. I can, however, Portable Holet if we find one of those. Do I still want to play the Moonblast Cleric, or do I just exile Jadar? I think I exile Jadar. And then... I think I want to hang on to Emiria's Call still. Could have also tried to set up Vanquish at the Horde. I guess that's our plan now. Drew a Curse of Surveillance. Okay, so we'll go Moonblast Cleric. Play Tapped, Emiria's Call. And then, do I want to get a second Curse of Surveillance? I kind of do. We'll draw six cards per turn. That's still a reasonable amount. Or I could go for Curse of Leeches. And then I can play Curse of Leeches and Vanishing Verse in the same turn. Alright, fine. This could be bad if they have an answer to my Curse of Surveillance. Although I don't really expect them to. This Vela comes into play with a counter on it. But Vanquish the Horde should be quite effective here. Question is whether I want to take an extra hit here. I think I do. And then Vanquish for 2 mana next turn. And then I can still Curse of Leeches as well. Assuming our opponent plays an extra creature out here. So they might not have Goldspan Dragon in a deck after all, since it's a Bard class deck. So with my next Curse of Silence I could name like Inferno of the Star Mounts. Zero points not playing any additional creatures out. I think I still take it. And then ideally draw land. Now I can still cram session and vanquish the horde. Get uh, probably environmental sciences. Probably could have tried to attack first, but on the off chance that my opponent uh, chum blocks, it could be pretty awkward. And now portable hole. Great answer to Bard class. Binding, alright, that was a little unexpected, but great answer for my Curse of Surveillance, so now I'm sad that I didn't get a backup copy over Curse of Leeches. I think we're still in pretty great shape. Just don't have a card draw engine in play anymore. Get uh, planes. And I'll keep the planes in hand in case of a snarl. So plenty of removal spells in hand, so we're not dying anytime soon. And it's just a matter of time until we find another Curse of Surveillance or Moonblast Cleric. Even a cram session for mascot exhibition or another Emirios call would be great. Blind blades is fine. 
Alright, can cast Samiria's Call now. And that's gonna close out the game in two attacks. Okay, hit for 12. Get Curse of Surveillance just in case. Could transform back my curse here. On the off chance that my opponent plays like the Meat Hook Massacre. That way I still have my curse as opposed to the 4 4 creature. And this should still be enough to cross the finish line. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a very interesting hand featuring Triple Moonblast Cleric. So we will eventually get all the curses we need. Only have three mana, so we won't be able to necessarily play the Curse of Surveillance on curve. But I think I'll try it still. Doomscar to clean up the board if needed. So I'm happy to draw lands. I'll play my first Curse of Leeches. And wait on the Moonblast Cleric. Opponent's Black Red, so... If I ever get a Curse of Silence, could go for Goldspan Dragon. Ooh, opponent's a Reanimator deck instead. So that means I want to name the uh, Fortel reanimation card as well as maybe the uh, Golgari colored one. Yeah, this could already be a reanimation spell for either one of these, which I currently cannot answer. Although I guess we can always Doomscar. So if my plan is to Doomscar next turn... I might want to transform back my curse by just playing a portable hole on nothing. And at this point I might get Curse of Surveillance anyway, although it does mean I'm gonna miss my land drop. So maybe I get a Curse of Silence first. And then... I mean, to be fair, if they reanimate one of their creatures, they aren't necessarily in a position to attack, because then I'm hitting them back with my Lurker. So, maybe it's fine to play it slow. Yeah, and there's Return Upon the Tide, gets the 4-5 lifelinking angel. So, Curse of Silence probably just names another Return Upon the Tide. They could be playing the Golgari reanimation spell. Apparently it's Diagraph Rebirth. And then, let's switch back our Curse. And then I'll probably have to Doomscar to clear the boards before playing Cleric for Curse of Surveillance. Which will require some blue mana. Alright, things switch back. So now I don't really want to Doomscar anymore. But I did find blue mana. So I can get my Curse of Surveillance now. Our opponent discarding Diagraph Rebirth as well as Velomachus. And another return upon the tide. Alright. 
So I'm going to take a pretty big hit. Probably just going to tank for four to gain four with a Lurker before pulling the trigger on Doomscar. All right, never mind. Draconic Intervention. Going to clear the board. Leaving only Velomachus. Now I can probably afford to Curse of Surveillance first. Vanishing Verse not going to work on Velomachus. But not too concerned about what Velomachus can find. Rebirth. Gonna need to pay two for the Curse of Silence. Not gonna sacrifice it. And then now Doomscar. Gonna clean things up nicely. Could also just Vanishing Verse the Inferno. Although it's not like I get to play an extra Curse of Surveillance. So I'll just clean the board up. And then I can play an extra Cleric to get another Curse. Kind of liking another Curse of Silence here. Which can name another reanimation spell. Opponent can start hard casting their big creatures now too. Brings back Velomachus. Another rebirth they won't be able to play. Thanks to our curse, which has done a ton of work here. So seizes spoils instead. So I don't have an answer for this Velomachus. Probably need to keep up Vanishing Verse in case of another Inferno of the Star Mount. So I think that means just playing a Curse of Surveillance and keeping up my other mana. Instead of playing Curse of Silence out, still get to draw six. So we'll probably have an answer for Velomachus next turn. Well, not yet. So we could be in a bit of trouble. Diagraph Rebirth. I probably have to sacrifice the curse now to try and find an answer to Velomachus. Or at least a way to gain life. And then I can Vanishing Verse the Inferno here to use my mana efficiently. We have a lot of answers, but... Alright, there we go. Miria's Call helps. So... I can a Miria's Call plus Curse. And what to name with the Curse? Probably return upon the tide. Sure. Could also go with a removal spell. Although if they have another draconic intervention, I think I'm dead either way, since they can just clear all my blockers. And making it cost two more is not going to help. So, yeah, this is tough. Could also name Velomachus himself, because they can cast it with that treasure token. Yeah, I gotta hope to dodge Draconic Intervention pretty much. Or double removal spell. Yeah, Cram Session would have done it, Doomscar would have done it, just couldn't find them in time. And another Baleful Mastery gonna close out the game. Alright, well, we had a 
good instinct to name the Darren Graf Rebirth with a Curse of Silence, but it wasn't quite enough. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Cram session to get environmental sciences. And a Moonblast Cleric, hopefully, to grab Curse of Surveillance, but there it is. Turn 1 Reaper's Talisman is interesting. I think I still want to cram session for Sciences. So I can maybe hold on to Miria's Call as a win condition. Opponent Blue-Black for tells a card. So... I've got my next couple land drops lined up, so maybe I can afford to play Moonblast Cleric for an extra curse, although I don't know if I need to get an extra surveillance in case of a counter spell, or if I get another one. Curse of Silence is the cheaper one to get, and it could also name a counter spell to make it difficult to counter Curse of Surveillance. So let's try this approach. Start by attacking. And then Sciences gets a planes. And I think I still hang on to Emeria's call, just in case. And then Curse of Silence will name Saw It Coming. Against a blue deck, it's also tempting to name Alrun's Epiphany to make that more expensive. Although, with our curses, it's actually beneficial if the opponent takes an extra turn, because then all our curses trigger once again. Right, it's going to be Grasalax into another Talisman for now. And sure, we'll run out Curse of Surveillance. Start drawing two cards per turn. And another Curse of Silence will make that three. Plenty of sweepers in hand. Grasalax also combo with Alrun's Epiphany, so that's most likely the cards in exile. It's going to be a Soul Shatter killing my creature. They might have wanted to do that before attacking. And then for now, Curse of Silence. Naming... I guess now we'll name Epiphany. And we'll wipe away Grasalax. And draw three. Not the most exciting set of draws, but as time goes on, our opponent's going to fall further and further behind. Okay, so just going to foretell Doomscar and move on. Can maybe draw into a Vanishing Verse that we can still cast at instant speed as our opponent flashes in Zareth Sam. Well, that doesn't die into Vanishing Verse. So that's going to get a hit in. Maybe getting back a Moonblast Cleric. That's okay. Got any enchantments to search up? A Curse of Leeches, okay. There's a Vanishing Verse. So step one, Doomscar, see if that works. It does. And then we'll add our own Curse of Leeches. Plus I can Crime Session. And 
and get a mascot exhibition to start closing out the game. Yeah, they might also be playing a curse deck with surveillance and leeches. Portable hole can deal with the talisman too. So decisions, decisions. How much mana am I working with? Nine total. How do we feel about exhibition, double portable hole? Or maybe just vanishing verse the curse since they don't have any creatures in play anyway. Although I will have to discard to hand size a bit more. Twenty-eight cards remaining. And our opponent packs it in. Can have a look at the exiled card. And yes, yeah, saw it coming, so we hit on our Curse of Silence, making it pretty much impossible for the opponent to counter our Curse of Surveillance. So that all worked out nicely. So yeah, Curse of Silence, probably one of the cards that impressed me the most, besides of course Curse of Surveillance, which we expected to do a lot of work, just being able to slow down the opponent's game plan and potentially disrupt counter spells is quite relevant. So yeah, overall, if you're looking for a fun alternate take on a control deck, this is a pretty good one when facing creature decks. Against more controlling strategies, we do need to count on Curse of Silence, for instance, to prevent any counter spells from countering our expensive 5 mana plays. But uh, yeah, otherwise, a pretty fun deck featuring a lot of the new cards. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.